Hello again. Today we're going to do a combine harvester buying guide. A little bit like the one we did, uh, if you saw my previous video, on tractor buying guide. Um, just to give you a bit of a rundown on the combine harvesters, what they've got, what headers they have. A um, bit more information just to help you pick a combine harvester. Have a look at me in 3D rather than just on the buying page. So, that's what we're going to do today. So, starting off, we're going to start off with the Moist Combine Harvesters, work our way up. The first one we've got is the Sampo Rosenliu, it's the Comia C6. It's got a top speed of 16 miles per hour. It will cost 105,000 to buy. Uh, 185 horsepower, with a tank size of 4,200 litres. Now this is normally the starter Combine Harvester. This is the one you'll get um, on most of the maps. Um, very very small, uh, small tank size, good combine harvester, does the job. Um, the header on this one, and it gives you suitable options for headers, this is the C6 14 foot, it's a 4.2 metre header, and that will cost about 21,000, say cost about, it will cost 21,000. Um, very narrow header, um, it's a good start combine harvester, um, you will find very quickly you want to upgrade, but it's a nice combine harvester, there's, there's nothing wrong with it, it's a good start one. Um, there are obviously then corn headers, or maize, depending on what you want to call it. Uh, the one that it gives you as a suitable option is the Capello Quasar F4. It's a 3 metre header that will cost 18,000. All the Capello headers have the option to choose your colour. So I just chose the orange to go with the orange of the Comia. Um, so you can customise your header to be whatever colour you want it to be. So that's the Comia C6. That's the start model, the smallest one of all the ones we're going to look at today. So, moving on, we've got the first of our new Holland Combine Harvesters. This is the TC590. It's got a top speed of 13 miles an hour. It will cost 150,000 to buy. It's got 258 horsepower and a 6,400 litre tank. Here's the next one up. Uh, the pipe, auger pipe, whatever you want to call it. A little bit longer, comes up the side of the Combine Harvester. A lot of detail on this. The suitable option it gives you is the New Holland Vary Feed 18 foot header, that's 5.5 metres, and that will cost 32,000 to buy. And then there's the corn header that goes with it, and that's the New Holland 980 CF6R. It's a 4.5 metre header, and that will cost 28,000 really detailed, I mean all of these are the ones that come with the Giants, the sort of base game harvesters, um, lots of detail when they're running, they look fantastic. Um, so that's the first of the New Holland harvesters that we're going to look at today. Moving on from there we've got the Rostsel Mash. This is the Rostsel Mash Acros 595 Plus. Now these only came, I believe, with the gold edition on the Sosnovska map, the Rossal Mash. So you might not have these if you haven't got the gold edition. But this one has a top speed of 18 miles an hour. It costs 189,000 to buy. 325 horsepower. And it's got a 9,000 litre tank, this one. Again, the pipe starts to get longer and longer, um, depending on the size of the harvesters. Obviously, they depend on the header size. It needs to have a longer auger pipe. Uh, come off the side of it. I do like these ones with the big chunky steps, big chunky front wheels. They do look really, really good. Nice combine harvesters. Now, the standard header they uh, suggest is the Powerstream 700. It's a what Rossall mash. It's a 7 metre header and that costs 36,000 to buy. Um, but nice combine harvester. They're, they're, you know, for the size, I mean, all the harvesters do a job. It depends on what size field you're harvesting. So then we've got the corn header that comes with this one. This is a Rossell Mash Argus 870. It's a 5.7 metre header um, and that's 32,000 to buy. As I was saying, it depends on the size of the field you're going to be harvesting. Smaller fields, smaller harvesters. Bigger fields, normally bigger harvesters. Um, and it also comes down to what you can afford, how much money you've got in the game at the time. Sometimes you'll build up, sometimes you prefer a certain manufacturer. 
So now moving on to the case. This is the first of the cases we're going to look at today. This is the case axial flow 7130. It's got a top speed of 13 miles an hour. So quite slow this one. But it's very wide. It's a very wide combine harvester. So when you're going down the roads, even if you've got a header trailer, it's a wide combine harvester. Um, that will cost 235,000. It's got 410 horsepower. And it's got a tank size of 10,570 litres. It's a very wide combine harvester. Nice one. Very chunky looking thing. Lots of great detail. So the header they suggest for this one is the Case 3020. It's a 35 foot header, that's 10.5 metres. And that will cost 54,000 for that header. All the headers, I mean, like I say, all of them on these games. The detail is brilliant. And the animations when they're actually running, really, really good. So, the corn header they suggest is the case 341212R. This is a 9 metre header, 49,000 to buy. As you can see, as we move up through the range of harvesters, the headers get bigger, they get wider, the pipes, the auger pipes are getting longer to allow for those wider headers. A nice harvester. They're all nice harvesters. I know I keep saying that, but they're all nice harvesters. So, next of the Rossel Mash harvesters, this is the Rossel Mash Torum 760. It's got a top speed of 18 miles an hour. It will cost 342,000 to buy. 490 horsepower. It's got a 12,000 litre tank. So again, going up in size. Longer auger pipe again. Plenty of detail. Now, the suggested header they give you for this one is the Powerstream 900. Rossel Mash header. It's a nine metre header and will cost 43,000. Interestingly, with this, the Torum 760, they don't suggest or give you an option for a corn header for this one. But what will fit on it is the Quasar, uh, yes, it's a Capello Quasar HS16R. It's a 12 metre header. That's the Quasar header folded up, the Capello header. Again, with the Capello headers, you can choose your colour. I chose white just to go with the harvester. Um, so that does fit on. It will work um, on that harvester. I don't know why they didn't, in the game, supply it with a, a corn harvester um, header. I don't know. But that will fit on there and it will work. Okay, so now moving on to our next case. This is the biggest case they do on the game. Um, this is the case Axial Flow 9230. It's a big combine harvester. Uh, it's got a top speed of 19 miles an hour. It is tracked at the front, so in the front tracks. Lots of great detail on those. Really nice. It costs 380,000. 571 horsepower. It's got a tank size of 12,330 litres. Lots of detail on the tyres and all of these have them, all the information. Very, very long um, auger pipe on this one. Extremely long actually, but you will see why in a moment. Very, very wide step uh, section probably to get around the size of the tracks I would imagine. So the header they suggest for this one is um, a case. It is a 3162 Draper. It's a 45 foot header. 13.7 meters. Very very wide header. And that header is 79,000 Very, very big, very, very wide. Explains why the auger pipe is as long as it has to be, so it can fit out the side of the length of the header, so you can still unload from it. But yeah, very, very big header on that one. Now, there's no corn header for that one. 
so the one that's an option for it is the Capello Quasar HS16R uh, the same one I showed you a moment ago on the Rossell Bash um, that's a 12 meter header so that's it opened so it's the same one there that's it folded that's it open that's 76,000 to buy very very big corn header gets through the crops really really quickly um, yeah really really nice header as you can see that's yeah definitely why it needs the long pipe and last by no means least we have got the New Holland and this is the New Holland CR 1090 it's got a top speed of 19 miles per hour it also has tracks at the front very detailed again that will cost 430,652 horsepower with a tank size of 14,500 litres. So it's the biggest tank size um, of all of the harvesters that you get in game. Obviously if you're a PC player, um, you're modding, you can get all different sorts of downloads. Um, but this is the big one. This is the biggest harvester they do in game. Um, yeah, lots of detail. I haven't done the in-cab shots um, on these ones because the video would have been really long. Um, this one at the moment is fitted with the largest header. It's the New Holland Superflex Draper 45 foot header. That's 13.7 metres. 79,000 to buy. Now, you don't need a header trailer for this one. Very, very wide. Because it has built in... It's a built in header trailer, really. The same as this one, the large headers, they have wheels on them already. So you can unfold those and it's got a built in header trailer. So you can tow it with its own header trailer. All of the other headers would need a header trailer to transport them. And as you can see on the back, I jumped in by mistake, sorry, I was not supposed to crouch down. There we go. Uh, you can see the tow hitch. So they can actually tow their own header very very handy little thing to have but they are incredibly long headers that's why they need them so that's the larger one the one it suggests initially is the new holland very feed 41 foot it's 12 meters that's 65,000. so this new holland the bigger one's got more options for headers than any of the others um i think it says very feed on the back of this one just to make sure yes i've got them right way around that is the very feed 41 foot header so you can have a slightly smaller header, or the really, really big header, so it's entirely up to you. Then we've got the corn headers. Um, you've got the New Holland one, which is the 980CF12R, unlike the 6R that was on the TC5. Uh, this is a 9 metre header, 45,000 to buy. Again, great detail, really good header. Um, if you've got a smaller field, not too bad. But you can also fit on the ever popular Capello Quasar HS 16R, the 12 meter one. Again, I've chosen the color, I've gone for yellow so it matches the New Holland. Um, but the big harvesters will all take this header, um, the big Quasar header. That's 76,000 for the big Quasar header. So this, this New Holland, the um, CR 1090, has far more options for headers than any of the other ones. Um, I'm not quite sure why the New Holland, Hollands have seem to have so much more kit uh, available in game, but they do. Um, so that is your harvesters. I know there are sugar beet harvesters, there are potato harvesters, there are your forage harvesters. Today's was just looking at the combine harvesters. Now you can mix up the headers. You can switch headers around. It suggests headers and says suitable headers, but you can put bigger headers on the smaller harvesters. You can put the really big headers on the sort of medium sized harvesters if you wanted to, but you put a big header on the medium or smaller harvesters and the pipe lengths are wrong. So whilst it will run the header, and it will work, because the pipe's not long enough, unloading them becomes incredibly difficult. So yes, you can swap your headers around, and it's a case of you know having to play with them. Um, but just bear in mind, if you do do that, and you spend out the money getting a really big header because you think it will make it quicker, the pipe's not long enough. It becomes a real pain for unloading. Now, those two there 
and these two here have their own trailer hitches they've got trailer hitches on the backs under underneath them the three over the back there don't so if you're going to tow their headers on a header trailer you would need a tractor to go with those to tow the header trailers the front four or two on the left two on the right have got their own trailer hitches so they could technically pull their own headers on a header trailer but that's it that's combine harvesters that's my buyer's guide if that's helped in any way for you choosing what you want to get i hope it has thanks for watching